Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back. Oh no, we're not doing another inside video. All right guys, today's video we're gonna be talking about my top five outdoor idioms. But before we get into that, I'd like to ask that you consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button if you like this video. Feel free to share this video with anybody. Make sure you comment below to show any love that you have. Social media links are at the bottom as always. So let's get right into this. Ooh, it's windy out today. Summer's coming to an end. Oh, I think we just saw my kids. Yeah, there's my kid right there. First one is a breath of fresh air. <sighs> when they say a breath of fresh air, they mean a new, fresh, imaginative approach on something. A good example of this is, the election is coming up soon. A new prime minister would be a breath of fresh air. <laughs> We're venturing into the woods and the kids are scared. <laughs> Whoa! Mina's so scared! <laughs> so scary! <laughs> yeah, she really. We've never been in here before. I've been in here. <clears throat> no, not when I was little. Just one time. The next one is greener pastures. Greener pastures means a more promising situation. So for an example, many people immigrate to Canada in search for greener pastures. So they're looking for a more promising situation, a better life. And the next one is, it's a jungle out there. So a jungle out there means it's a hazardous environment. All parties are out for themselves. So everybody's in it for themselves. So an example is, it's a real jungle out there shopping during Black Friday. So Black Friday is a shopping holiday in North America. And it's when prices are really cheap and people go crazy. Some people fight and some people steal and there's just not a whole lot of love during Black Friday. I avoid it at all cost. And the next one that I like is sell ice to an Eskimo. Now, I don't think the word Eskimo is politically correct anymore. So I'm not sure if you want to use this one or not, even though we do still have a Canadian football team still called the Eskimos, so it can't be that much of a hot topic. So to sell ice to an Eskimo, it is to persuade someone to do something that's not in their best interest or accept something that is completely unnecessary for them. So basically, you're a good salesman. So a good example is, John just closed another deal. He could sell ice to an Eskimo. Okay, some of you guys might have seen this little walking trail in one of my early videos. So if you guys recognized it, good on you. You're real OGs. You're the original watchers of my video. True fans. And if you haven't, go back and watch it. I think it's called Learning English at the Beach. And it's right at the end of the video where I'm walking down this trail as uh, the two videos are popped up. So my next one that I'm gonna go over is beat around the bush. So to beat around the bush is to avoid talking about something that is important, usually because it is uncomfortable or unpleasant. Here comes my kids. <laughs> Here comes my kids up. So a good example is, I won't beat around the bush anymore. I'm breaking up with you. Hi. 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 Whoa, you're fast. Hi. Where's your sister Hi. and mother? Huh? Um, there was a road there so we can't go there. Yeah, there's a road over there. Takes you to the beach. What? Kind of beach. What's kind of beach? You've been there many times. 
Like the beach that are closer to our house. Mm. Yeah. Yay! Beach that's close to our house. Yay! But it's still a long walk. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. This 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 little so 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 up. All right, guys, that was a quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Those are my top five idioms for the outdoors. If you like this video, feel free to watch these two over here. If there's anything specific you guys want me to do a video about, feel free to comment below. Now we're off to Canadian Tire, so I'm going from the outdoor to the indoor. I gotta fix my ceiling fan. <laughs> All right, and I'll catch you guys over in the next video. Peace.